Hello guys, welcome to another video. Um, it's your boy Asker, and in this video we are going to configure uh, multiple privilege levels. We're also going to go over configuring Cisco iOS role based CLI access, and then we are also going to implement Cisco iOS resilience configuration. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and start with this video, and I'm still using my Mega Lab over here. So this is going to be a good, um, it's going to be a good probably 10 videos on configuring everything that I want to configure. As you can see, any connect clientless, any connect clientless. We're also going to configure SCP, NTP, SNMP, um, and a lot more stuff that we're going to configure over here. So what we want to start is, I want to start with configure some um, privilege levels with uh, local accounts. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to, go to config T on router one. And what I want to do, I want to create a username. And the username that I want to create is going to be called, um, what do we want to call it? Let's call it DevNet. Okay, so we're going to call it DevNet. And the privilege that I want to assign is going to be seven. Um, the secret um, is going to be Cisco123, you know, space. So now let's go ahead and put it over here. So we know what we have configured. DevNet. That was the username and password Cisco123. That's so I don't forget later when I need it. So we have configured this user. And now since we have configured this user user with privilege seven, privilege seven does not have any commands. So what we need to do is we need to give it uh, we need to give this privilege some commands. And what we need to do is privilege, <coughs> I'm sorry. Privilege all, um, all level, and all level is going to be seven. And what I want to give it is a command to shut down. And also, we are going to give it no shut down. So those are two commands that I have given to um, this user, which is um, DevNet privilege. Um, seven and the privilege that I had given is um, just to do a shutdown and also no shutdown so what I want to do now I want to let's go ahead and, and also from here I want to enable um, enable a password so it's going to be enable um, secret Cisco one two three so that's going to enable a password whenever I want to go into um, enable mode and let's go ahead and end this right here let's go ahead and save it and let's see what happens if we exit out of here it still um gets me into this but it should just ask me let's see if we log it can we just log in uh, with a username of devnet and the password was cisco123 there we go. So let me see if we do a show user users. As you can see, the user that is logged into it now is um, DevNet, and we are into this right now. So what I want to do is I want to see if I could. Conf I cannot go into config T. Okay, so that's something that um, I cannot do. So I cannot go. I can't not even got into config t so i forgot to do that let's go ahead and we do a log out okay we log out let's go ahead and see who is the users um just show users and see who is the user we don't have any users so we are into the roots probably so now we should be able to do a config t and now let's do a privilege um and privilege what we want to do from here is um privilege config configure level and the configure level is going to be seven and the command that we want to give it is inter interface um okay so we have given another command which is interface and now another command that i want to do is privilege and i want to give it the exe exec level seven and the command is that I want to give is configure 
terminal. That's now the command that I want to give it to this um, privilege seven. And remember that privilege seven is for DevNet. So let's go ahead and end it. And when we end it, I want to save it. And when we save it, I want to log in as a log, log in as DevNet. Password says go one, two, three. Config T. You see now we're able to go into config T. So let's see if we are able if we go to interface gigabit zero zero. Let's see if we are able to um, configure an IP address of 145.1.1.50. There we go. So it doesn't let you configure a IP um, address on this interface because I did not give that command to that privilege. So what you are able to do is to do a no shutdown. As you can see right here, we are able to do a no shutdown and we are also able to shut down. So we are able to shut down, as you can see right there, and we are, able, we are also able to do a no shutdown from this DevNet. Um, so let's go ahead and end it. Let's go ahead and save it. We're not even able to save it. So what we need to do is log out. There we go. So then after that, what I want to configure is I want to configure another user account. So username is going to be my username privilege 15 all the levels um we want to enable sys secret cisco one two three there we go so now if we go end it and if we go save it and since i have all the privilege level and i go into login with ascore password cisco one two three and then we should be able to go into config t there we go since i gave in all the privilege level I have access to everything with this um, username right here. So I don't need to give it any privilege um, level. And I'm able to do anything I want from here because I'm logged in basically as the admin. So another one that I want to put over here is Asker and password is Cisco123. And let's say that this one is the admin. And this one right here, it has some shutdown commands. Okay, so we have configured that from, um, we have configured those um, user accounts. Um, something else that you could do is that you can configure views um, because it is a lot better to configure views because when you configure views, the views are actually um, used by um, users. So if you are, let's say, um, the DevNet or any, or any user and you want more power, what you could do is you could log into that view, which is kind of like a group. You could log in with that view and that view could give you the access um, that you actually need. And the first thing that you need to do um, to be able to use the views is that you need to enable triple A new model because um, the views are part of triple A. Okay, and also another requirement is that you need to have an enable an enable password. And I already have an enable password, so I don't need to to do that right so if you go now to um configure a view the way that you do that is you do a parser um, view and then the view you have to give it a name of the view and let's give it it that's what we're going to call this view and from this view what you could do is you could um enable a password by doing a secret and you can just call this cisco one two three for that view and now what you could do is you can give it some commands and the commands that I want to give it to this group is executive mode, um, include, show versions, or just show, let's say, let's, um, let's go ahead and delete that. Actually, I don't want to do show versions, it's just show version. So let's go ahead and do just show version. Um, and another command that I want to do is include all show IP. So commands, exe. And from here, we want to include all show IP. Okay. And then after that, what you want to do is you can just go in and then you want to enable that view if you want to use it. And the way you do that is enable view and you need to call that view that you want to enable and then after you if you want to enable that view 
um, first of all, it's going to ask you the password that we configure, which is right here. So it's called one, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. And that gives you access. So if you do a show view, you are not able to do that because I did not add into this, but you're able to do a show IP interface. There you go. So you're able to do uh, the show IP interface. You should probably be able to do show IP interface brief. As you can see, that's another command that you can do. So you can do another show IP, IP what? So you can do all these commands that are right here because they are part of your view, right? So if you want to disable view, is it disable view? How can you get out of this view? Um, I'm not sure how you can get out of this view. That's a really qu good question. So if you want to um, view the, if you want to see the views that you have configured, you can do show parser view all, which you don't have access to it. So what I want to do is let's go ahead and log out. You cannot even log out. So as you can see right now, I'm stuck um, with this view. Let's see if we are able, let's figure that out. I forgot to, how to get out of view. So how to disable, you can just do a Google search, how to disable views, Cisco router. Um, let's see how we can disable the view. So how to disable show commands, not disable show commands. Um, Um, how to disable parser view Cisco router. Let's go ahead and see if we can go over here. Um, benefits of view, root view, blah, blah, blah. Enable Drupal A, parser view, configure terminal, enable view. Um, so how can you, after your successfully deleted view, okay, let's see. Maybe delete. No, erase, no. Hmm, exit, there we go. Um, show parser, show route, show route map. Okay, so now let's go ahead to, okay, I don't think the view is now in it. So let's see if you are able to show parser view all there we go as you can see we don't have any um, current view so the way that you could do it is just by doing an exit and that's going to give you that's going to get you out of that view so in this video let's see we have gone over configure multiple privilege levels we also configure cisco ios role based cli access so I'll show you how to do a role-based CLI access with uh, views. And now what we want to do is implement Cisco IOS resilient configuration. And resilient means that we want to protect our, um, what we're going to protect is our configuration and also our image because you don't want anybody to just remote into your device and delete your configuration. Um, because if they um, delete that then your router is going to go down because it's not going to get it's not going to have any configurations and another thing that you could do is you could um, also encrypt your image so they cannot delete it and the way that you could do that first of all let's do a dir dir and you can see everything you can see our image right here and you can also see our configuration so if you also do a show flash Let's see what we have in Flash. We have a lot of stuff in here. But basically, what you want to do is um, to the DR, you want to first encrypt this so it is not visible here. So if 
a hacker comes into your system, they won't be able to delete that. And the way that you could do that is go to config T and do a secure boot image. And that's going to um, encrypt your image and it's going to archive it. And it's going to remove it from DR. So if we go to DR, it shouldn't be there anymore. There you go. You see that it's not there. Before we did this command, it was currently right here. So let's see if we are able to encrypt or hide our configuration. So let's go to config T and secure boot. Um, and there is two. And let's go ahead and hide our configuration. There we go. And as you can see, iOS res resilience five configuration. Now let's go ahead and save it and let's go ahead to show our directory. And as you can see, oh, the, so this is not our configuration, but our configuration has been also um, encrypted. And what that happened is that when somebody like remotes into your router, like a hacker, right? And they try to delete those files, they won't be able to do so because um, via like Tonet, you won't be able to do that. The way that you are able to um, delete this is going straight to the router and trying to delete it. So that's the only way that you could possibly do that. So it won't let you do it via Tonet or SSH. Um, it only lets you do it if you connect directly to the router via a console um, cable. Okay, so we, let's go ahead and save it. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for router 2. So if you do config T, you're going to do secure boot image, then secure boot um, configuration or con. And let's go ahead and end it and let's show the directory. And as you can see, the image is not here as well. So let's go ahead and save it. And there it is. So this is all for this video, guys. Um, what I went over is I went over how to configure multiple privilege levels. And I also went over how to configure Cisco iOS role-based CLI access with views. And we also implemented Cisco iOS resilient configuration. So we are now into section four and we are almost done guys. As you can see, not a lot of stuff um, left for this Cisco um, security. And on the next video, what we're going to do is we are going to implement a TACAX server, which is right here. And then after that, we're going to configure DNS server and then we are going to configure any connect clientless and all that good stuff. So thank you guys for watching and I see you on the next one. Bye bye.